Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you guys the review slash wear test video of the Makeup Revolution Retro Lux Matte Lip Kits. You guys know that I bought all five of them from the Ulta website. And if you watched my Ulta haul video, you've seen all the swatches for all five of the colors. So this is not going to be a first impressions video because I couldn't wait to try these out. And in my Ulta haul video, I'm actually wearing one of them. I'm wearing the one in, I'm wearing this one right here in rain. <laughs> I was wearing this one right here in rain. So I have tried these out and I also did wear a different one last night. I really wanted to love these. They're not the worst liquid lipstick, but they're not the best liquid lipstick. The feeling when they dry down, you do get a little bit of a um, tight feeling, but nothing too bad. But they stay super sticky. So they do not dry down completely, so they wear off and transfer faster, which sucked. I hated that, especially... Like, they just looked bad. They started flaking off in the inner part of the lips. It just looked horrible. Last night, I wore this one right here in Regal. It's a very pretty reddish-orange color. And because these didn't dry down all the way, I wanted to see if putting a powder on top of them would help any. And I don't have a transparent powder, but I did powder it with my Rimmel Stay Matte powder. And this one is just in transparent. Um... It did help a lot, but I did notice toward the end of the night it did get really crumbly and flaky a lot more than if I were just leave it without powder, like setting it down with the powder. But it did last a lot longer with the powder on top of it. And because this isn't completely a transparent powder, it does have a little bit of color to it. It did take away from some of the, it did take some of the color away from the liquid lipstick. So all I did after I powdered it it just went over a little bit with the lip liner just to give some more of the color back. And it was fine. It lasted so much longer. They're still not my favorite formula, but I'm determined to like these. I think I'm going to go in with this one in Noble. Because this is more of a brownish nude color and I don't really reach for brown or nudes. So I'm going to give this one a try. I did like the way Rain looked on my lip. And Rain is a pinky nude color, and I don't reach for those colors either. I will say these lip liners are amazing. They are super pigmented and creamy. All of the colors in this are super pigmented. They are super creamy feeling, but what, just when they dry down, it's just not the best feeling. So it's just, they're very hit and miss. The pigmentation, the color selection are really awesome. It's just the formula is eh. So let me go ahead and apply this really fast and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what the color looks like. The lip liner actually turned out a little bit more orangey peachy than the actual liquid lipstick, but that's okay, you can't really tell. So, as you can see, there is a lot of stickiness to it. So I am gonna let it dry down just a little bit more and then apply some of my Stay Matte Powder on top of it, because I feel like that would give it the a really fair chance as to just applying it and just leaving it because I know it does not last that way. So I'm going to wait for it to dry down a little bit more and then powder it with some of my Stay Matte Powder. So as you can see, powdering it does take away a lot of the color. Like the bottom lip is powdered and my top lip isn't. So I am... I think I went a little too crazy with the powder anyway, so... But as you can see, it does matter. It does take away a lot of the stickiness. So what I'm going to do to get the color back is I'm just going to go over it with the actual lip liner because it's not the lip liner that's really sticky to me. It's the actual liquid lipstick formula. And the color is really beautiful and everything. It's just the formula is not. So I'm going to just go over it with the lip liner to get some of the color back and I'll be right back. 
The only downfall about doing it this way is it just feels like you have a lot of product on your lips, which you ultimately do because you have lip liner, liquid lipstick, powder, and then more lip liner on top. So your lips feel very, uh, they don't feel dry even with the powder on it, but they still, you, you can feel it. So it is currently 2.10 right now. I'm going to go and do some stuff, edit a video, just lay around the house a little bit, and I will be back in a couple hours to show you guys what this looks like. Okay guys, I'm sorry about the change in lighting, but it started raining outside, so it's really dark and cloudy. So we're just going to do the best we can, and plus I'm going to have to start getting ready to go to work soon. So I decided to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. It is 3.36 right now, so it's been about an hour and a half. And I haven't done too much, I've just been eating and drinking a little bit. And it doesn't look too bad, except on the inner part of my mouth. It, it's wore off a lot and it just looks really gross right there. It doesn't look too flaky or crumbly, so honestly that's not too bad. It's just the inner part of my mouth looks horrible and I hate using this term, but I've heard so many people use it lately. Liquid lipsticks when they start wearing off in the center look like you have butthole lips and that is just the most disgusting way to describe it, but it is true. It's very true. So I think I'm just going to touch it up a little bit and then go to work and then at the end of the night I'll show you how it looks because I'm not 100% sure I want to wear it to work like this. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more um, liquid lipstick and everything and then I will show you what it looks like re like with a little bit of a second coat on top of it I guess and then I'll check up check back in with you at the end of the night. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I reapplied a little bit of it. I didn't reapply all over my mouth. I just kind of applied in the inner corners and in the inner part of my mouth. Just so it doesn't look so weird when I'm talking. You can see it's just, it looked weird. Okay, so after reapplying a little bit of it, it didn't feel too cakey and it didn't feel too dry. Until I added just a little bit more powder on top of what I reapplied. Then it started feeling really dry and disgusting but overall it doesn't look bad you can't see the flakiness or dryness or anything like that so I'm going to leave it alone for now and at the end of the night I'll come back and check in with you guys okay I don't know if you guys can see this very well but there's little chunks missing from the liquid lipstick it's been flaking off a lot and it just looks really gross and it hasn't been that long since I did the last update it's been less than an hour so and then obviously on the inner part of my mouth it looks gross. See like these little like weird looking dots on my lips. That's where the chunks are missing from. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take this off and I'm not going to wear this to work because it feels super uncomfortable right now and very drying and just flaking off a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it off and I will talk to you guys later. Okay guys so my overall thoughts on these liquid lipstick kits. They are okay. Not my favorite, but like I said, I'm really determined to keep using them and try to fall in love with them. I would really like to try Makeup Revolution's other lip kits that they have. Like, I know they have some glossy lip kits, and I think they have metallic lip kits. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they do. I really want to try those to see how the formula is on those. But these, I'm just... <sighs> I just really wanted to love them, and I don't love them. The packaging is really pretty on them. Like, they look really nice and luxurious. The pa It's like a rose gold kind of packaging. I'm just... Makeup Revolution products are amazing, don't get me wrong. The, like every brand, they do have hit and misses. And to me, this is just a really big miss. The pigmentation on these are amazing. The colors are amazing. They're really pretty and nice. The lip liners are super creamy, so I will definitely be using these lip liners. I'm not too sure about the liquid lipsticks. I'm just, they're just really dry feeling, and they flake off very easily. They don't dry down all the way, and to me, you shouldn't have to set them down with a powder to get them to last longer, but I mean, if you want to go that way, if you really want to try these, I do recommend setting them down with some sort of translucent powder or else it will just be all over everything. So, 
maybe not buy all five of them like I did, just get a couple colors. So if I could recommend any of these colors to you guys, it would be these three right here. This one right here is in Grandee. It is a very pretty bubblegum pink color, which would be really pretty during the summertime. This one right here in Regal, which is the reddish orange color. And then this one in Rain, which is a very pretty pinky nude color. They do have uh, three other color choices. Ulta just doesn't carry them. You can find them on Tam Beauty, though. So, but these are the three I would highly recommend if you want to try these lip kits out. I would not purchase all five of them from Ulta or maybe the three colors that Tam Beauty sells. You might like better, but I would recommend only buying one or two. I will say these are a pain in the ass to get off of your lips. I cannot for the life of me remove these at the end of the night. My makeup remover wipes, do just do not touch it. I... The only thing I could get to remove them are those Burt's Bees eye makeup remover pads that I got. Those, it'll get it off, but it's still really hard, but it gets it off easier than my Burt's Bees wipes. So, they just keep that in mind. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you in some way on deciding if you whether or not you want to try these lip kits. Overall, Makeup Revolution as a brand is very awesome. They have some very amazing stuff. So don't let this discourage you from trying any of their other products. They do have, like I said, very amazing stuff. Their Vivid Baked Highlighters are amazing. They have just bomb stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications just so you know every time I post a video. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter if you want to know when I post videos as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye!